remember when I was about 22, I met this really amazing guy, good Christian man, and we had been dating for like a month and he was ready to finally let, you know, for us to finally be in an actual relationship and be together instead of just dating. And I remember him asking me if I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I was super hesitant because, again, I grew up believing that Jesus was just a prophet, not the son of God. And so it was, I hesitantly said, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Clarissa, live from the prayer closet. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about my journey from becoming or from being Muslim to becoming a Christian. Um, so, as some of you probably know, I grew up Muslim. Um, my family was Muslim. My mother was Seventh-day Adventist. And my dad was Muslim. Uh, but uh, the children, we all practiced Islam. Um, it was great to be exposed to different religions because we had a lot of religious uh, or respect for other religions because, you know, my mother, uh, her family was Seventh-day Adventist. So we would sometimes go to church on Saturday with her. Um, but for the most part, we went to the mosque and, you know, fasted and prayed during Ramadan. And I did this as a young child and it was ingrained in me that Jesus was a prophet and that he was not the son of God. That was what we believed and that's what was ingrained in, in me and that's what made sense to me because God doesn't need a son. He's God, right? So um, I grew up for a long time believing that and even into my adulthood because that's what, what I, that's what I was taught that's what I believed when I was 18 I moved to Houston to go to school uh, and there is where I first really started going to church um, I went to a church a local church in the area of the university that I went to and I loved it I loved listening to the choir and the praise and it seemed like every time I went to the church and the preacher would preach a sermon, I felt like he was speaking directly to me <laughs> and I would leave feeling so convicted and I would leave feeling ready to go and conquer the world. So I would get devotional books and I bought my first little tiny Bible, the ESV version. And it was a little tiny pocketbook Bible because, you know, I was a college student. I didn't have a lot of money. And, um, I still have that Bible to this day, <laughs> uh, but I, that was my first Bible and I would read it, but it really didn't make sense. So I would just read the devotionals or listen to sermons. And it was a lot of me taking everybody else's word for what I heard. Like everyone else was my Bible instead of me actually going in and reading it for myself. Um, and I remember when I was about 22 i met this really amazing guy good christian man and we had been dating for like a month and he was ready to finally let you know for us to finally be in an actual relationship and be together instead of just dating and i remember him asking me if i accepted jesus christ as my lord and savior and i was super hesitant because again i grew up believing that jesus was just a prophet not the son of god and so it was i hesitantly said yes but i think he could see right through it because he immediately was like no this isn't going to work which totally understand and <laughs> it was honestly for the best um i was not in a place at that time where i was really like understanding and i didn't really know jesus you know um so a few years later i ended up meeting someone else and having my first child my son jeremiah and i remember being lost after that uh feeling super lost feeling super alone feeling like I didn't have anybody and nobody loved me. And here I was now with a child that I had to take care of and help to become this 
good man one day and I didn't know what to do. Um, I was very alone and very afraid and it was a hard time for me at that time. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna try to finish the rest of this without crying all over the place, y'all. Y'all knew the stuff I've been through. And the God I serve who got me out of it. I met another young man and he brought me to church. And when I got to this church, I was super apprehensive. It was a tiny church. There was literally <laughs> like, there was maybe 10 people in that church. And I was, I came from the big church in Houston where there's like literally thousands of congregants. So I was like, what am I gonna do here? Um, that church is what helped to push me in to really knowing Jesus in a different way, to having an intimate relationship with him. Um, there I met my friend uh, and my mentor. She was amazing. Uh, she helped teach me uh, all the things that I did not know. Um, she showed me different scriptures and the things that I could read. She would tell me different things, just life practices. And then she would tell me where to go and read it. So finally I got to a place where I was like, I don't want to just keep taking everybody else's word for it. Let me read it for myself. And also at the church, uh, Pastor Chris, he had us doing Bible studies and I would go every Wednesday night. And I was a person in there who was asking all of the questions. I wanted to know it. I was like, why is this? And why does it repeat itself so much? And why is this? The Bible was a novella and I wanted to know everything about it. And I remember I was working and I started listening to the Bible on audio. And anytime I had free time, I would start sitting on my <laughs> Uh, couch and reading my Bible. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to do anything anymore. I just wanted to know Jesus. And I love the church that I was at because they gave back to the community. They um, were doing Bible studies where I could really learn and absorb everything about Jesus. And it was just a really, really good experience. And I thank God for connecting me to the people that I am connected to, to even to this day. The relationship with that person did not work but God knew what I needed and I am grateful that I had that relationship because if I didn't have that relationship, I would not have met the people that I met and I would not have gone to that church. I know God does everything in his time and in his perfect, um, but that relationship uh, was a good lesson for me and helped me um, know Jesus in a different way. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior during that time, but I never went and got baptized. I never made that public declaration. Um, and so I, even though I've studied the Bible at this point, I've read through it three and four times. I started learning everything I could about Jesus and beginning to have this intimate relationship that I've never had before. Like, I wanted to know everything about him. I wanted to feel his presence all the time. I just knew he loved me. And feeling that love was like no other thing I could ever imagine. Like everyone else's love doesn't matter. When you have the love of Jesus, he's a good God. And feeling the love of this, man Jesus and how amazing he is and how unconditional his love is for me even though I've done all this sinning now I don't want to sin anymore because I love him so much and I don't want to do anything to taint that relationship anymore so I'm so happy that I have that now and I hope and pray that other people get to experience that as well. I'm so happy that I have that relationship now. And I hope and pray that other others get to experience the love of Jesus Christ. Because 
I don't know what I would do without him. And I pray that you get to experience that as well because he is so good and worthy to be praised all the time. Thank you for listening to me and <laughs> watching me cry on camera. I hope uh, this helps you and please share, like, subscribe, do all the things. We love you. We thank you for watching us and I pray that you get to know Jesus like I have.